Okay, with modes, it's a question of where are the half steps in the scale. So a half step is the distance from one note to the next note. That's a half step. A full step would be two half steps. So C to D is a full step. D to E is a full step. E to F sharp is a full step, right? Because it took two half steps. E to F is a half step. It's just one note. Some people will refer to this as a tone and semitone. So C to D would be a tone. C to C sharp, a semitone. C sharp to D, a semitone. So two semitones make a full tone. C sharp to D sharp would be a tone. But I'm going to talk in terms of steps and half steps. That's just the terminology I prefer. So in a major scale, let's take C major, which is all white keys, C major scale. The half steps are here between E and F and B and C. Every scale has two half steps somewhere in there. Most of the steps are full steps, but uh, there's two half steps. So in a major scale, it's between the third note and the fourth note, and between the seventh note and the eighth note. So let's play an A major scale. One, two, now we'll go to three is a full step from two, and then three to four is a, is a half step. So again, in a major scale, the half step occurs between three and four, and seven and eight. So let's keep going. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight is a repeat of the root node. Okay, so when you come to eight, you're back at one again. So let's do A major once again. Okay, so our half steps were between th the third note and the fourth note and the seventh note and the eighth note. And that pattern will hold for all keys. I could do a G major and it's going to be a major scale if I place the half steps between three and four and seven and eight. That's a mode, okay? We don't, we call it a scale, uh, but it's, it's a mode effectively. There are seven modes and two of them we're very familiar with, major and minor, uh, but there's uh, there are five more that we're not so familiar with. Um, most of our music, modern music, is probably 95% of it is made in either major or minor modes, but there are other modes. So this video is about modes. Now, in the minor mode, the half steps are between the third note and the fourth, no, sorry. In a minor mode, the half steps are between the second note and the third note, and the fifth note and the sixth note. So if we do A, A is A minor is all white keys. So it's convenient, so you can easily visualize it. One, two, three. See the half step between two and three? Four, five, six. Half step between five and six. Seven, eight. That's a minor scale. Um, the half steps are between two and three and five and six. And that's the minor minor mode and major mode. Now, what if someone came along and said, you know, I want to do a different, I want to put the half steps in different location. And uh, let's look at D, for example. If you go D to D on the white keys, we have a half step between two and three, just like we did in minor, all right? But the other half step is between six and seven up here, not between five and six. So it's a little different from a minor scale. At the latter part of this scale, it's a little different. So that's another mode, and that has a name. That name is Dorian. Um, okay, Dorian, that's how it's spelled. And that just means that the half step is between two and three, just like in minor in this scale, and between six and seven, not five and six in, as is in minor. Okay, that's good. So if you want to play a song in Dorian, you would, you would use notes that are separated 
with that pattern. So let's say, now this is D Dorian, it's all white keys, so it's easy to see, but let's say we wanted to do C Dorian. We would go full step, half step, full, 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 half, full. So let's go down that scale. Let's see Dorian. Okay, we're putting the half steps between two and three and six and seven. So that's the Dorian mode. And what if we were to do uh, a different mode where the half steps are in yet a different location? Let's go E to E here. Here we have a half step between one and two, three, four, five, six, five and six. 7, 8. So you have steps between 5 and 6, similar to the minor scale, but the half step on the f earlier part of the scale is between 1 and 2. That's very unusual, and um, but it still is a mode, okay? And that mode is called Phrygian. They have a name for it, and I think it's spelled like that. Phrygian. It's where the half step are between 1 and 2 and 5 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's do C Phrygian. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We just did C Phrygian. Okay, we apply that same pattern starting at C. Let's do A Phrygian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. A Phrygian just has the one uh, black key in it. It's just the B. It's a, the it's A sharp here, but since we're in the key of A, we'd call this B flat. Okay. So that's the Phrygian mode. And now, if we what if we went F to F and see where the half steps occur there? E, F is 7 and 8. That's a half step between 7 and 8, just like in major. Okay, but the other half step is between 4 and 5. In major, the half step is between 3 and 4. But in this case, it's between 4 and 5. So it's a little different from major. So this mode, putting the half step between 4 and 5 and 7 and 8, is slightly different from major, and it has the name Lydian. So the fourth is different. So let's do it. one, two, three, four. In a major scale, it goes one, two, three, four. The fourth is raised a half step. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's F Phrygian. Let's do C Phrygian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice it's very similar to the C scale, except for this, instead of having an F in it, it has an F sharp. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's Lydian. All right, it's very similar to major, except the fourth is raised a half step. The fourth is raised. You might call it augmented fourth. Um, Keeping with this, now you can go to G to G and look at the pattern there. You have a half step between one, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Now this is very similar to major once again. The half step is between three and four, just like in major, but the second half step is between six and seven. A little different. In major, the half step is between seven and eight. So you could say it has a lowered seventh, you could say that. But at any rate, the name for this pattern is Mixolydian. Okay. That's it. It's similar to Lydian, just Mixolydian. Um, that's G to G. That's the pattern where you have a half step between three and four, like in major, but the other one in, in between five and six. All right, this video is about to end. I'm going to stop it and then continue with another video.